Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I turned this design that I made into a beautiful real life geodesic dome greenhouse. I also just released the plans for this dome on my website, so you can go to my website and check it out if you would like to build this dome yourself. So I designed this dome a while back and it kind of sat on the shelf for a while. Uh, and then I found a client who was interested in building it, which I was ecstatic about. It's 23 feet in diameter. It's about 12 feet tall on a 32 inch pony wall. It's a four frequency dome. So it's got hexagons, pentagons, and two other unique faces. And then it also has two unique half uh, panels uh, to make the doorway, which can be the most tricky part about designing a dome as you make it bigger or smaller. Um, the doorway sizes can change, so that's a pretty important consideration, but this dome turned out really gorgeous, and uh, I'm very thrilled with it. I think it's a perfect size, and it's about 400 square feet, so that gets past a lot of um, regulations as far as permitting, especially if it's a greenhouse in a lot of places in the U.S. It sits on this 32-inch uh, pony wall, and that basically makes it so you don't waste any space at the bottom of the dome. Um, it's got three unique panels um, and one of them is a mirror. So it's basically four different types of um, panels, but they're really easy to make and kind of saves you money on polycarbonate and stuff like that. And I think it gives it a nice, almost traditional kind of look. Uh, especially with the red aluminum shakes. It almost looks kind of barn-esque, but with the dome, I think it's a great look. So let's get into the build itself. I didn't really get a chance to film a lot of the shop work, but I did get some stuff toward the end and I got a lot of filming done during the assembly or the dome raising. If you are looking for tips and tricks on uh, building a dome in this method, I've got a full step-by-step -step how to guide and I'll link that up in the corner and below in the description. So definitely check that out. So this design included a cupola, um, which is basically another pentagon on the top that um, can open. And I wanted to make sure that there was six lower vents uh, along the bottom of the dome so that when those open and the cupola opened, there was a lot of natural airflow. I rigged these vents up with uh, automatic greenhouse openers, which have a wax piston so that when it gets warm, it automatically opens the door without power. And here are all the pony wall sections all stacked up and ready to go in the truck. Okay, this is a pretty exciting day. The shop is a total wreck. But uh, yeah, we're getting set up and loaded up to build the biggest and most complicated dome ever. So, uh, well, that I've done. So I'm pretty pumped, but yeah, we're almost all loaded up here. It's always exciting when uh, you work on something for weeks and weeks in the shop and then you get to put it up. So let's do it. Wind's ripping. Yeah, we'll bring all the tools on site tomorrow and uh, start with that. But it's kind of nice just having everything here. So in the morning, then we can get a get a fresh start. All 
All right. It's uh, a good I've got my computer out here. Yeah, basically I'm just looking at some of these um, dimensions. Yeah, we're gonna start getting the base set up. First thing. Okay, so we just finished the base, putting this together. We don't do a lot of domes like this, but it's kind of nice because you get to start off with something solid and it really kind of defines the circle a bit. Did we or did we not almost freak out about not having enough? It really looked like for a second we weren't going to have enough of them. <laughs> All right, so we got the first row on, and uh, it's been going pretty smooth. Coming together really well. Yeah, everything, everything's going together pretty smooth so far. Day two on site. Um, day three, technically, I guess, if you consider it when we dropped off our stuff. How did it go, Mila? Good. Yeah? Good, it's all up. You feel like Just this one fit together touches. pretty decent? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, here we are. We're in it. So we're about to do one of the most satisfying parts, which is uh, ripping off all the protective film that's on the polycarbonate. So now I can get working on the doorway. Um, I left a lot of this to site work because I hadn't done a doorway like this before. So I didn't want to prefab stuff in the shop and then have it not turn out the way I wanted it. So I used a thin piece of wood right here to give the entryway a sort of artful arc. And once I got what I liked, I traced out another one. So I knew they would be a perfect match. I cut an arc on this beam with my skill saw. 
and then I did a sort of half lap joint to get it to lock in with the plywood. The doorway took me a little figuring out because I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do it, but um, I ended up putting on a little bit of a ledger to hold the awning roof, and that worked really well. So now I just had to create the doorway itself that the door would fit in and uh, that ended up being really easy. I didn't get any footage of actually putting in the door but it went in really smooth. For all my other domes I'm normally prefabbing a bunch of this stuff but it was actually really pleasant to get to work in the dome. So here I've got these earth anchors. You can get them in different lengths and you basically just put a piece of rebar in there and drive it down as far as you can. And then you pull the rebar out so that if something were to tug on it, it can flip perpendicular to the force and stop it from coming out. So yeah, here's the door installed. Uh, everything went really well on this job, like I said. And we spent probably four or five days on site the client had a lot of really awesome ideas, so I'm excited to see what he does with this dome. Anyways, that's a build. Thanks for watching. Uh, I got a lot of cool projects coming up, so make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. And if you're interested in the plans for this dome or commissioning a dome for yourself, then go ahead and check out my website, trilliumdomes.com.